Nintendo had Mario. Sony was looking for its own mascot yep. when it came up with Crash Bandicoot. And Crash Bandicoot, the series, weighs in at number 74 on our greatest video games of all time list. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting tale because Universal actually owned the rights to Crash Bandicoot. Aww, and it was right. a Naughty Dog creation. What so is he? What, what is a Bandicoot? A Bandicoot's an Australian, like a weasel dingo? or something like that. It's some, some kind of a weasel dingo? mammal that's kind of pants. tenacious and can spin around, he's orange, and he, and he can like do that? double jumps, okay. cool. I think, right? I like these guys. Naughty Dog, I mean, you talk about a company that's able to create franchises over and over again. This is exactly what these guys were, I guess, launching with, with Crash Bandicoot. They were showing that you could come out of nowhere and kind of rule the space with a brand new creation that went on to spawn a whole bunch of sequels each successively selling a little bit more and ingraining the character a little bit more. What was interesting is that Sony never actually really capitalized fully on saying that Crash Bandicoot was the PlayStation 1's mascot. Even though they had all of the fantastic marketing back in the day with Crash Bandicoot, mm -hmm. supposedly with a megaphone out front of Nintendo and right, talking right. about, you that know. That guy in the suit. Yeah. I remember those commercials. So funny, so witty. Stop looking at me. Now the gameplay, and I think this is why the franchise is a little bit higher on the list, maybe never reached the lengths and the efforts and the quality of some of the Nintendo stuff that this was being directly compared to, but it was pretty damn good, and it really kind of showed the technical prowess of Naughty Dog as a team. They were, of course, much smaller back then. It took a lot less development effort to create these characters and these worlds, and they weren't fully 3D like Mario 64 was, which was the direct connection at the time, but they were really loaded with character and loaded with color, and there was a lot of intelligent decisions about making Crash an orange character with shorts so you could make him out as he walked around. There were also the 2D side-scrolling platforming sort of subsections of the game design. Where I think Crash really kind of lifted off for me is when Naughty Dog took the effort and went to build something to compete against Mario Kart with Crash Team Racing, and it was a phenomenal game. Who knew that they also had you know, cart chops in at that studio. You know, Crash Bandicoot himself, I don't think there's a lot of dignity no. about him as a character, and I think that's probably part of the reason why Sony never owned him completely. Right. What I like about these games, and I like Crash Team Racing the best out of yeah, all these games, too. I like Naughty Dog's ability to create fun, playful worlds. Yes. All of these games just pop off the screen. In fact, we have covered every single Crash Bandicoot game going all the way back. Get ready to take a tour through Crash Bandicoot history. Crash Bandicoot 2 for the oh, PlayStation. Man. Crash 2, this game, you gotta get. The, the, the effects and the graphics in this game are amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. I, Absolutely beautiful game. I like when you're when you're uh, when you're spinning around on the ice and yeah. you can see the reflection in the ice. Yeah. You get on a boat in the water and yeah. you're tooling around in this boat. You have a jetpack. I mean, the first Crash is one of the best looking games that's been produced. It still yeah. stands up. The graphics are great. Uh -huh. And then what they've done is they've gone back, tweaked the graphics engine. The pipeline for the graphics yep. is a lot faster. You can get more information in there. The textures are incredible and the, the levels split off a little bit more than they did exactly. in the first game. It's, it's not as linear as it was, which was my only beef with the first game. What about the analog controller, though? Oh, yeah, the analog Woo. controller kills, man. you got to get one of those things. It's amazing. Yeah. Naughty Dog has totally gone up in my estimation. After seeing this game, they're definitely one of the best developers out there, man. They are really, really hot. Well done, Crash. I give Crash 2 a 9.8. Crash 2, I give a 9.5 out of 10. Cool. We're going to talk about Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. They have different things throughout, so it's not just running straight through. They have a Super Monkey Ball ripoff level. That's the in best the, part in, in the, the game. In the jungle. I like the Super they Monkey the, Ball. They uh, have the plane yeah. where you're flying around and stuff. They have a lot of the other mini-type games, more throughout this game. We got a cool versus for you that's been about 10 years oh, in the making. We're right doing here. a review because I was staring off into the distance pretty thinking about my life. I know, look at this. This is outside. <laughs> we're talking about two kart racing this games. This is crazy. Crash Team Racing, a classic PlayStation 1 game from Sony. Yeah. And Crash Nitro Kart 2 from Activision. Now, for the iPhone. All right, visual. visual. Crash Team Racing, even though it didn't have the engine with the PlayStation 1 graphic chipset and everything else that the iPhone does, it was made for a big screen display. It was made for television. I think Crash Team Racing gets the edge. I would give it to CTR, but I think Crash Nitro Kart looks a little bit better. Do you have your eyeglass prescription updated? Yeah, it's all updated. Okay, let's move on to gameplay now. All right, gameplay, we are talking very similar structure. I think what's most impressive in both games 
is the tremendous amount of content yeah. that's there. I mean, it just feels like even so much more here than there is in Mario Kart Wii. Crash Team Racing, whether you play it on the PlayStation 3 or the PSP, it's super tight. Control is tight. So there you go, you crazy bandicoot. You're in at number 74 on our top 100 video games of all time list. Not too bad. Yeah. Not too shabby. Yeah.